Let's now shift focus to India, the country's space agency, ISRO, or the Indian Space Research Organization, has made a remarkable achievement. It has successfully launched and put into orbit a navigation satellite. The satellite NBS-01 is the first of the second generation satellites intended for the navigation with Indian constellation or NAVIC services. What exactly is navigation with Indian constellation all about? Well, it is a regional navigation satellite system working in tandem with the ground stations. Basically, this system came into being because of the needs of the civil aviation sector. What kind of needs? Better positioning, navigation and also timing. In fact, as per the Indian Space Agency, NAVIC is useful for civil and strategic applications. It offers two services, standard position service, SPS for civilian users and restricted service or RS for the strategic users. In fact, some of the applications include terrestrial, aerial and maritime navigation, also precision agriculture, location-based services in mobile devices and marine fisheries, so on and so forth. And this launch means continuity of the NAVIC services or the navigation with Indian Constellation services. And you know why this is significant? These will be an Indian alternative to the global positioning systems or GPS. Basically a system similar to GPS providing accurate and real-time navigation in India and a region extending to 1500 kilometers around the mainland. There are four global satellite-based navigation systems by the way. The American GPS, the Russian GLONASS, the European Galileo, and the Chinese Beidou. Japan has a four satellite system that can augment GPS signals across the country. And this, by the way, is yet another crucial year for the Indian Space Agency. There are a number of ambitious projects lined up. ISRO, in fact, is gearing up to launch one of the biggest missions of this year, the Chandrayaan-3. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.